Eric and Wild Menendez testified that after a lifetime of abuse, they believed their parents, Jose and Kitty, were going to kill them. Well, tonight, family members share new family secrets and details of what they witnessed. For the first time, NBC4's Robert Kovacic asked Kitty's sister if Kitty was capable of murder. If you tell anyone, I will kill you. It's difficult, and it's very true. You're making things up, Diane. They have watched the Law & Order true crime series of what allegedly happened inside a Beverly Hills mansion. Finally, they're starting to talk about the truth. Now, two cousins and an aunt of Lyle and Eric Menendez tell NBC4 the show merely scratched the surface. I don't think yeah. it's as horrific as what it, it really was. You need to pay attention to your kids. I'm sorry. My sister could have protected her kids. That's, that was her job. Joan Vandermolen says her little sister was a vivacious girl from the Midwest who married a monster. I want the world to know what this man was like. The Andersons are convinced the red flags were there. Their bedrooms were upstairs. And whenever Jose was with one of his boys, especially Eric, you were not allowed to go onto that floor. No one, including Kitty, we didn't question Jose. He was so domineering. This photo of Eric and cousin Karen taken only weeks before the murders. Alone with him in the backyard, she remembers he was unusually quiet. Looked like he was going to look at me and say something, and then he wouldn't. Just accepted to UCLA, Eric had apparently been told by his father he could live on campus, but would have to spend several nights a week at home. Kitty and Jose were sitting on the couch where they always sat. And as soon as we got in that house, boy, they wanted to know, what did you talk about? And it just grilled me. Years before this incident, dramatized in one episode, Diane will never forget. Me and Dad touch each other down there. Lyle told me in 1976 that he and his dad had been touching each other. I went to get Kitty upstairs, and then she came directly back downstairs, and she took him by the arm and never said another word about it. Do you believe that your sister molested her sons? My first inclination is to say, no, I don't believe she did. Then I think, but I, how could I believe that she did all this other stuff and she let them be beaten and abused? When they learned Kitty and Jose were murdered, none of them suspected Lyle and Eric. Not for a minute. Not no. once. However, these three women have no doubt the brothers feared for their lives. All they knew was the gut instinct of an animal about to be killed. But was Kitty Menendez actually capable of killing her own children? Her sister believes Kitty's husband, Jose, always came first. She wouldn't have stopped him. Is there forgiveness? Not yet. Yeah. No, I can't. For what she did to those, no. allowed to happen to those kids. Do you forgive Lyle and Eric Menendez for what they did? Yes, yes absolutely. In the final moments of tonight's Law & Order episode, there's a revelation that Jose Menendez sexually abused as a child from his cell in Northern California. Lyle Menendez responded to that allegation. I don't think it's an excuse, and that doesn't help me understand the brutality of my father in any way. And Lyle went on to say that he's heard from thousands of adults who were sexually abused but did not molest their own children.